All right, I haven't done this in a long time. Hey everyone, it's Sharnice here and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> guys 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 it has been like two years since i made my last like medical school update i was telling you guys about how i passed step one and i was ready to go on to clinical rotations and then i just never came back <laughs> i never came back um i would post like here and there on the community like little updates but um yeah i'm here today to give you guys some updates and i think the way i'll do it is i'll do a video like covering third year and then i'll cover fourth year and we'll talk about what i'm doing now with residency applications and eras and all that fun stuff so i hope you guys enjoy the video so my overview for third year is really for um a lot of the first and second years um in medical school specifically sgu because our experience is a little different so let me just tell you about my experience how it went and yeah so we left off <laughs> in december of 2022 that's when i took step one i took step one um december 2022 and then i started my clinical rotations at the beginning of january so i started with internal medicine before we get to that where did i go for my rotation so as some of you may or may not know i'm from new york i live in queens new york i am born and raised here and I decided that I wanted to move for my rotations. Some of you may also know that I was here for my entire medical school, first and second year. I did do it online. I never went to Grenada. So I just felt like I needed to get out. So I went, I took my little happy behind to Baltimore and I started with internal medicine. So internal medicine was three months long. It was hard. It was like two months of all floors and then the rest of the four weeks was like split up into things like clinic, um, nights. Um, and then we had two weeks of clinic, one week of night and one week of like rapid response. They called it like M MAO or something like that. Um, so I went to St. Agnes Hospital in Baltimore and I, I don't know, I went in there thinking like, oh yeah, we're gonna ease into it. Like, no, literally the first day I went in there, they gave me a patient. They told me to take the history. <laughs> they told me, they told me to do the physical exam. And I was like, I was so worried about the physical exam because coming from like online, the first and second year, I was like, my physical skills are really lacking, but I learned like in the first week. So there was nothing to worry about. Um, so yeah, internal medicine was a really cool experience. I had really cool cases, so much so that I presented two of them at an ACP Williams student conference. I was very proud of that. Um, and yeah, the hours were 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, studying for that shelf exam, I'm not gonna lie, was actually really hard. The first time I went to sit that shelf exam, I did not pass it. I know. Um, <laughs> it was like, it was gut wrenching too because I, I missed passing by one single point. Um, but then I remediated the exam and I passed with flying colors. So um, yeah, that was internal medicine. After internal medicine, I went on to psychiatry. Now, psychiatry, I didn't know what to expect. I was like, what? Psychiatry, what? <laughs> but, um, Actually, it turns out that I'm applying psychiatry this year and um, I fell in love with the specialty like, and it wasn't like instant. Instantly I was like scared and I was like, what am I doing on this like unit? <laughs> but um, yeah, I grew to love psychiatry and I think it is the most exciting and dynamic field in medicine. So about my psychiatry experience, um, my I did that at Spring Grove Hospital in Baltimore with my amazing mentor, Dr. Michelle Carter um, and Dr. Oni. And um, it was a great experience. It was me and two other SGU students. So we had like really intimate learning time. We had um, 
a lot of autonomy in terms of like being able to like meet with the patients, um, sit with them in, in group therapy, um, take histories from them, practice mental status exams on them. And that was all like very exciting. So um, yeah, we did that for six weeks. We had a lot of time to study for the shelf exam. Um, I studied like a dog because I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot be like failing these shelf exams. And I honored that shelf exam. It was a very exciting moment. So that was psychiatry at Spring Grove Hospital in Baltimore. After that, I did ob -GYN. That was another six weeks. And I did ob -GYN at Spring Grove Hospital. No, I did ob -GYN at... Holy Cross, Holy Cross Hospital in Silver Spring, Maryland. Um, wow, OB. Let's just say it was a very good learning and hands-on experience. Um, I have a lot of respect for OB residents. I think they work a lot. They work like their their schedule, their, their like regular schedule. And then like they're on call if a baby decides to fly out in the middle of the night and yeah it was a lot it was a lot we did a week of nights a week of day gyne, a week of day ob um a week of or i do not like the or <laughs> um and what else some some other things but it was like structured really well at that hospital and yeah i did it all like i assisted in natural births i assisted in um c-sections i assisted in dnc's like other guy oh hysterectomies i delivered a um i delivered a uh what you call it a uterus um during a hysterectomy i um delivered the placenta like great experience i hate the or yeah let me not say hey. Hey is a strong word. I just like the OR. Um, and I think I can talk about this in another video. There are like certain experiences that I have personally that like really discouraged me from being in the OR, but that's another video for another day. Um, so yeah, I was able to study a lot during that rotation, the way that they structured it. Like they had students sitting in the student library and then your you were paired up with um with a resident and the resident would like just text you like hey um we're about to operate in this room and you would go and like meet them so it was nice like you just had to keep an eye on your phone and like I could, you could be studying and like go and do what you have to do so um yeah for that shelf exam i passed that shelf exam and i was really excited about that um overall that was a really good rotation i'm not gonna lie i think that was like one of my best rotations in terms of quality. After OB, I made my shift from Maryland to New York. So my school, they have clinical sites everywhere, but not all the clinical sites have all of the core clerkships um, available. So I went to New York and I started on, what did I start on? Family medicine. Oh my gosh, family medicine was so amazing. So basically, um, they assigned me to Kingsbrook Jewish. Like, they have different clinical sites all over Brooklyn, like um, family medicine uh, practices where you can go and do your rotation. And I did mine with Dr. Oshayev. Um, she was absolutely amazing. Um, it, was, it was a very low-key rotation. I would be lying. Like, we didn't have to go in every day. We, like when we were there you know it was regular like nine to five hours we had a lot of good experience like taking vitals for the patients taking the history reporting the history back to the attending you know being able to discuss the plan with the attending so it was a really good experience i would say that it was pretty fast paced in the actual office but it was like great a lot of time to study for that shelf exam so the reason why i keep bringing up studying for the shelf exam is because my school is like obsessed with these shelf exams like the the passing scores for our shelf exams are so much higher than like any other student that i was rotating with so all of these sites there were also like other students rotating with us whether they were from like other international schools or from schools in um in either baltimore or new york depending on where I was and like passing for their shelf exams were like significantly lower like I'm, I'm saying like 10 points lower it's just crazy like it's insane <laughs> it's actually 
actually insane. So that's why I like I'm bringing up shelf exams because it is so stressed at SGU. Like it's so stressed. Okay, so that was family. And then I went on to surgery. I did surgery at Kings County. It was 12 weeks, just like internal medicine. So three months long. Um, that was, for me, that was like, my hardest rotation to get through. Um, as I said earlier, I really don't like the OR. Um, it was it was a combination of a lot of things. Like, I don't really like the OR, so I really just had to suck it up and, <laughs> and get in there. Um, and then also like, you know, it's surgery. You have to get to the hospital early. Like sometimes I was waking up at like 3.30, getting in the, on the road, going in there five o'clock, like, <laughs> It was just madness. But I did like the way that they structured it. Like we had like two weeks of anesthesia, two weeks of trauma, one was night, one was day, a week of ortho. And we had like some other stuff intermixed there, but it was like, it was manageable in that sense that they broke it up really well. But um, yeah, surgery, it takes a certain type of person to love surgery and that certain type of person really likes waking up early and going home late and that's not me <laughs> and then last but not least i had pediatrics at king's county hospital pediatrics was a wonderful rotation it was six weeks long um one week in the picu one week in clinic one week we didn't even do floors they split it up perfectly. All the attendings were amazing. As you guys know, like, pediatricians are, like, I want to say the nicest people, but they are just, like, such good people at the core. <laughs> like, I really loved working with all of the attendings, all of the residents. I had some really cool cases. Okay, so all in all, I ended up either high passing or honoring all my shelves. I honored half of my, like, overall clerkships and high past the other half and so overall i had a really good third year also in third year i applied for um the apa helping hands grant through the american psychiatric association i did that to kind of help boost my application for um psychiatry residency time and yeah my friend and i we did like a really cool project we actually just submitted it about um using like a podcast based intervention to see if that will increase mental health literacy in youth in new york city and um if any of you watching this are going to be at the apa in may i will be there my friend will be there with our poster and we'll be presenting it so um you guys should come check us out and yeah that was third year all in all Third year, I'm not gonna lie, is very tiring. It's very taxing. It's a lot of studying. And it's a lot of trying to manage your time between showing up and performing really well clinically and also studying and passing those shelf exams. So if I were to give a third year a piece of advice, I would just say to really stay focused during third year. Just focus on your work in the hospital. Treat it like a job, treat it like you know, you're going to be evaluated. Your performance will be evaluated on every single um, rotation. My school, SGU, gives them a form to fill out. They do like middle of rotation and end of rotation evaluation. So, you know, you just like third year is really all about being your best self. Like on rounds, if your attending is asking you questions about basic pathologies and you don't know them, like you're you're cut if you are like late and your team has already st like started pre-rounding on patients like that is such a bad look like put your best foot forward in third year and just really grind so yeah i'm sure i did not cover everything i'm sure there are like important things that i'm leaving out but if you guys have any specific questions you can leave them in the comments you can also email me and yeah, I hope you enjoyed um, hearing a little bit about my third year. I, like that is so long ago. It is January, 2025 and my third year was in 2023. So <laughs> I might not remember everything. I might not be very thorough. Give me some grace. I just came back on the scene. But yeah, this was nice chatting to you guys. My next video is going to be about fourth year. So if that interests you, stay tuned.